Yeah, so um, excellent. Th this is good. Let's move to the second question. In, in the book itself, um, Dwayne, you, uh, you utilize this concept in this word of meta narratives. Now, many students, they've studied theology, uh, this course, um, at least as, as it's listed for the interview I'm doing, it's listed under practical theology and intercultural studies. People may have heard of systematic theology and seen graphs and charts, but you're using the, the, um, the word meta narratives mm -hmm. as a good way of studying Islam and Christianity. Could you explain afresh your rationale for the use of this concept of meta narratives? Certainly. Um, and let me notice that, that this book is also available in Spanish now, so it has been translated. So I know that a lot of Latinos and Latin uh, American churches in Latin America and, and all, all around the world really are interested in reaching Muslims. So this, this book is in Spanish too. Well, it, this comes again from my biography uh, after seven years in the Middle East, two years in one country learning Arabic, five years in another country in an Arabic uh, Muslim majority city, helping to start a, a seminary in Israel. And um, I, we went back to the States. We had kind of finished our work in Nazareth. The seminary was up and running and we were you know, back in San Antonio. And a lot of our ministry then consisted of mobilizing, training, educating. So I was traveling around to a lot of churches and sometimes also seminaries or universities or you know, just whoever wanted to hear about this topic, which is a topic that a lot of Americans, including secular Americans, including atheist Americans, are, are quite interested in. And I, during this time, as, as part of my, my work as, as a teacher, as an educator, I really just came to the conclusion that the mold of religious studies for comparing Islam and Christianity, it fails. It just does not work. I came to the conclusion, and, and this also is comes out of my doctoral work at Edinburgh, mm -hmm. um, living along the breakage, being that dissertation uh, published, that, that, that trying to fit Islam and Christianity into these molds of religion, both of them have religious elements, and I, I'm not one of these people who's like, oh, we're not a religion, we're spiritual, or I, I'm happy to call myself a Christian, I belong to the church, I am not about relabeling everything, that's not who I am. But just trying to fit them both into the same mold, it just seemed inauthentic. And I felt like in doing that, we lost the genius and the kind of unique DNA of both of those things. So I started to try to find a different way of comparing Islam and Christianity. And when I got into the concept of the meta narrative, a story of everything that includes every stories, every story, and that that includes your story. So Islam makes the claim, whether you like it or not, that your life story is part of its narrative, part of its meta narrative. So does Christianity, whether you like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, it makes that claim. It's a story of everything, two stories of everything. And of course, of course, post-modernity is kind of this negation that there's any meta narrative. All we have are our own individual narratives. Okay. I touch on that a little bit in the book, but it's it's not one of my main concerns. So I thought that this concept of the meta narrative really, really did justice and, and helped me to understand and to communicate and to educate others. That's what I am. I'm a, I'm a professor and a priest, a uh, pastor. Um, as, you know, what is the genius? What is the power, the compelling power behind these two great movements in history that, that, ha that today make them consist of almost 60% of the world population? Fascinating. Thank you for sharing that. It, it's, it's something to think about, actually, yeah, because everybody, you know, kind of wants to be in a story or at least, uh, if not the hero of the story, at least not a forgotten side members. So Islam and Christianity are both uh, putting people in their story. Now, 